Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Sage the Gemini is being accused of sexual assault allegations involving Chris Brown's home. In a video posted on TikTok, Hannah Katana claimed that Sage the Gemini all worded her at Chris Brown's home when she was 18 years old. She also accused Chris Brown of sexually assaulting her underage friend who was 16 at the time and under the influence of alcohol. Hannah said she was inspired to come forward after Diddy's recent arrest and thanked Cassie for her courage in speaking out. They all need to be held accountable, she said, referencing powerful men in the entertainment industry who abuse their influence. In her video, she stated, Sage the Gemini all word me at Chris Brown's house, adding that her friend was also assaulted by Chris Brown. Hannah alleged that Sage pressured her to sign a consent form following the assault as she needed him to get her an uber home she said i don't care anymore because i know the truth and the truth is more important than anything after hannah cantana made her allegations against sage the gemini other women started reaching out to her with similar experiences one of these women is baby gemini and we'll get to her in a minute Anna was asked why didn't she go to the police. She said because they are not going to do anything. Check out these clips, you guys. I never thought that I would make this video, but it's time. They finally got Diddy. They finally got him. And But the thing is, there's so many more men out there just like Diddy who are abusers, who use their fame to lure women in and abuse them. And I wanted to come on here to say that it is time to out every single abuser in the industry, every single one. They, we, they all need to be held accountable. And the thing is, I would be a hypocrite if I came on here and I was telling other women that they need to speak up if I'm unwilling to speak up. I was raped at Chris Brown's house by his friend, Sage the Gemini. Yes, I know. I should have never been at Chris Brown's house in the first place. This happened when I was 18 years old. I'm 26 now, um, as of today. And I should have never been there. But Sage the Gemini raped me at his house. Chris Brown raped my friend when she was underage. She was under the influence and she was 16 years old. These are were on two different occasions. But the thing is, all these men, all these abusers, they hang out together. Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are rapists. Why have I been afraid to come out all this time? You wanna know? It's because right after Sage raped me, he had me sign a paper saying that everything that happened was consensual. And he was my Uber drive. Uber, he, he got me the Uber to Chris Brown's house. And he, I didn't have any money. And I needed him to, to get me the ride back and like i i didn't know if he was gonna i didn't know what was gonna happen if i in that moment i was in shock i couldn't believe that he i like i i don't really know how to talk about this um i just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that Chris Brown and Sage the Gemini are rapists. Um, and I think that we all, all of us, all of us girls, guys, everybody who has been raped, abused by powerful people in the entertainment industry, fuck it. I don't care if I signed an NDA. I don't care if I signed this paper that said that it was consensual when it wasn't and you fucking know that. I wonder how many fucking girls that you had signed something just like that. That is fucking diabolical. The fact that that you, <laughs> that you had that paper brought out right after is so fucking sickening and it tells me that you've done this before. That something else has happened and there's no taking back. I already posted on Twitter um, so I'm, I just feel like I have to make a video now too. And, um, it's time for everybody, every single, and now 
I can tell other people that we, they should speak out too. I'm, I'm not going to say who the girl was because that's her, that's her decision if she wants to come out and say um, what happened between her and Chris Brown. But she was 16 at the time. She was under the influence. I don't care anymore. I don't care because I know the truth and the truth is more important than anything. And I'm so fucking happy. It's It's time. It's time for all of you. For everybody to know who you all are, people are not going to be afraid anymore. I'm not going to do anything. Um, other people who have been assaulted by him have done rape kits. They have gone to the police. They've even sued him. And he's still walking free. Um, when you go to the police about somebody who sexually assaulted you, you have to relive your trauma over and 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 over again by telling your story to these detectives who literally just don't give a shit you can have all the proof in the world and a lot of times just nothing happens and i think a big reason is probably because cops suck and they're fucking evil pieces of shit too and abusers protect abusers so yeah, our, our criminal justice system is completely broken. I have absolutely no faith in it. It failed me when I was actually in high school. I was sexually assaulted when I was underage. Um, back in Texas, nothing, nothing happened. And it was honestly like a traumatizing experience in itself, just trying to hold the people accountable. So I just like, I don't know, like, I'd rather just live my life. And the thing is, I just wanted to come on here. I want to warn people. I, I feel like it is the right thing to do to let it be known who the fuck these men are. Right? But I don't have any fucking money for a lawyer. I don't have the energy to, like, pursue them in that way. I don't want to fucking talk to cops. They've already... The cops have already abused me enough. And then you want me to talk to my cop abuser is about another abuser sorry i'm not i'm not trying to i know my tone is getting all weird and i'm talking talking voices i'm not i'm not trying to be rude or snarky or anything i'm just like fucking hate cops i fucking hate cops so um i just don't see how they would help me in this situation they are the last people i want to relive my trauma with so yeah um I have a feeling that he is going to be pissed that I've revealed who he is to social media. So if he tries to come at me, I'm a lawyer up. If he tries to say, you know, any kind of bullshit, I'll lawyer up. But uh, I don't know. Like, I want him to be punished for what he's done. He is a serial fucking rapist who's been giving women incurable STDs. So yeah, I want him to rot behind bars. That would be amazing, actually. Um, but I just don't know if it'll ever happen. I mean, the thing is, the whole reason I even spoke out about this in the first place is because Cassie came forward and Diddy's in jail right now. Um, so I know that it's possible to get justice. I know that it's possible. It's just such a whore, horrible, horrific experience talking to the police about uh, your sexual assault. Horrible, horrible. So I commend Cassie. She's a fucking hero. She's a badass. She did everything right. She is amazing. She inspired me to come forward. I hope she inspires others. Um, but unless there's other women that are able to come forward about sage i i don't know what i'm gonna do like i'm literally just trying to focus on paying rent you know what i mean and figuring out figuring out like what i want to do with my life while the whole world is just burning and government's evil police are evil every everybody's fucking evil everybody's a fucking rapist everybody's a predator I'm just so done. I'm just so done. I just wanted to come on here and just speak the truth because there's not a lot of 
truth that is able to get like actually heard and so thank you everybody who has believed me and I know there's people that are asking for evidence but I I don't know I, I blocked the man on snapchat I don't know how to prove anything and I don't really I don't know like you can believe me if you want and if you don't want to believe me you don't have to but I fucking hate the police so fuck fuck the police and fuck Sage the Gemini and fuck Chris Brown and fuck Diddy so Hannah was 18 and her friend was 16, the one who Chris Brown all worded. And the crazy thing is, right after Sage the Gemini all worded her, he had someone bring out a consent form for her to sign as if it was consensual, but according to her, it wasn't consensual. And because he paid for her Uber, she had to get back home. So she needed him to pay her Uber back home. So she didn't want him to see, she didn't want to show him that she was mad. So she signed the consent papers. She should not have done that because nowadays, as long as you have a cell phone, you could call anyone, your mother, your father, your a sibling, a friend, someone, right? They could send you an Uber, right? And then you paid him back. Or they could have sell her the money and then she take the Uber from there. So there are many options. But she signed those papers and she couldn't even go to the police station. Even if she signed those papers and have him pay her Uber back, she should have still gone to the police station and let them know, look, this is what happened. This guy, his name is Says the Gemini. He ordered me, but because he was my ride home, he had me sign a consent paper, and I did, but I didn't have a choice. And this is what happened. He made me sign those papers. You know, at least that would have been solid. The police report would have been solid because you came right away and you explained the situation. So therefore, there's some type of proof, you know, but she didn't do that. She didn't even do that. And I need for women to start making smarter decisions and stop going into these places blindly. Young or not, you should still have some common sense. These men, these industry men, have no moral compass. They are morally bankrupt, okay? They are scumbags, most of them. So if you're not willing to put out, do not go to their house. If you're not willing to have SEX with them, do not go to their house because there's a possibility that's, what, that's all they want. That's all they want. These scumbags, that's all they want. So if you're not ready to have sex with them do not go to their house make them take you out somewhere in public and they have the money so it's nothing for them to take you out somewhere in public and who the heck want to hang out with industry men majority of them have herp stds seriously a majority of them are a bunch of scumbags they are scumbags they are vile they are not good people. Stay away from these people, okay? Let's move on to Baby Gemini. She's a social media personality and an adult content creator. Now she's coming forward with serious allegations against that scumbag Sage the Gemini, accusing him of all wounding her during an encounter in 2018. She describes herself as a proud SEX worker and adult film star. She recalled the incident from six years ago. She detailed how the rapper Sage the Gemini reached out to her on Snapchat. She described a year-long period of love bombing during which he appeared charming and attentive. She noted that this is a tactic he uses to target smaller SEX workers, believing no one will defend them if they come forward. 
Baby Gemini said that Sage flew her out after refusing to pay for her own travel. But once she arrived, his demeanor changed drastically, you guys. She described him as intimidating and aggressive from the moment they met in person. She said that during a sexual encounter, he forcibly penetrated her anally without her consent. You guys, check out the video. Baby Gemini. Honestly, I'm only doing this because of the responses that um, my Twitter getting about Sage and Gemini raping me. Yes, he raped me. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm not afraid to say it to him. I'm not afraid to say it to any of y'all. Let's be clear about that. He anally raped me, and I did not consent to that. Let's start there. Yes, I'm a sex worker. Ooh, yes, I'm a porn star. Back then, I was not a porn star back then. I was a solo content creator on Twitter with a much smaller following than I have right now, which he knew. He preys on small sex workers and girls that he thinks that no one will believe or defend. Now, first of all, this is like a six something year old story. I wanna say that this is back in 2018. The reason I don't remember is because I have a terrible memory and my ADHD is bad. You guys are like, I remember. I remember the assault very, very vividly and clearly. I do not remember the exact date or time this happened. I wanna say it's around 2018. I called my mom today to confirm because you know I tell my mother everything and uh, she also confirmed it was around that time. I'm not saying I don't remember the assault. Let's be fucking clear. Everyone here is a psychologist and thinks they understand how trauma works and how people are supposed to respond to trauma. If it was me, if it was me, if it was me, shut the fuck up. Because I would probably slap the shit out y'all in real life. Like, be for real. This man is 6'4", 200 and something pounds. I'm not that big. I'm 5'6", 120, 130. Maybe back then I was like 120 something, 130. Skinny as hell. Like, be for real. Anyways, the story is he approached me on Snapchat, which is his go-to. He knows that on Snapchat, it's not gonna, you can't keep the messages. It's a really good way to have your proof deleted. Like, he's a smart man. He knows what he's doing. Boom. Um, he hit me up on Snapchat. Yes, I thought he was cute. Yes, handsome man. Yes, all that. I have no shame in saying any of that. I'm very open and very... Uh, honest about my sexuality, my sexual explorations, like my promiscuity, all of those things. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. He contacted me on Snapchat. Mind you, this was not in sex worker relation, not book me, nothing. This was love bombing. This was a whole year, mind you, a whole year of getting to know me, talking to me, love bombing me, this, that, and the third, da, 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 da. and um, I finally went to go see him mind you he wanted me to fly myself out i guess he's just used to girls doing whatever i was not going to fly myself out. i wasn't going for that so he flew me out cool mistake number one now i got on twitter back in 2018 like i said 2018 yeah and posted about everything he did to me i'm going to post it here so that you guys can read it yourselves because i don't feel like reading the whole thing through I literally talked about the situation. I didn't talk about the rape because at the time I didn't feel like anyone believed me. I was a small creator. I was still trying to build myself. I didn't want all this, this that's happening right now. Everyone berating me, calling me a liar. I just didn't want to deal with it. I handled the trauma, whatever. Myself went to therapy, got better, okay? But I did feel like it was an obligation for me to get on Twitter to make sure that the rest of the community that looked up to me that I, you know, was helping and shit knew about this man. So I'm gonna post it here. You guys can read everything I said, boom. All right, I assume you guys read what I said. So you understand that the moment that I got into the car with him, he went from being this love bombing nice guy who was really into me, like a little controlling, but he's a celebrity, like da 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 da, to a whole different person. The vibe is completely changed. He's completely aggressive, completely dominating. And I'm not the type of person to be scared of anybody. Like that's just not who I am. I'm not scared of nobody. He intimidated me from start to finish. like. The entire time, just continually telling me what he could do to me. Da, da, da. You guys read the post. You guys read the story. So you've seen what I said. Um, anyways, once I told Twitter about everything that happened, uh, nobody cared. You know what I mean? I'm a sex worker, whatever. They wiped it under the rug. We went on our way. Now, recently, 
it just came up with Hannah's post. And me being who I am now and the status that I have now, I was like, fuck it. Like, yeah, I'm going to talk about it because I'm not scared and I'm not, you can't do shit to me. You can't affect my bag. My fans are not going nowhere. Like, yes, I'm proud. I'm a porn star. I'm not ashamed. I don't care what any of y'all had to say. Feel me? So that's why I felt the need to speak on it right now. I did consent to fly out to Sage the Gemini. Let's be clear. I did consent to be there. He took my phone and put it in a box for two days, which I thought was so fucking weird. Didn't let me text nobody. Didn't let only let me text my mom, was watching me text my mom like a psychopath, continually intimidating me. But cool, I did consent to be there. I did subject myself to that because I know you guys are gonna blame me for that. So yeah, I will take accountability where accountability is due, okay? Now, the first day into there, like a couple hours to me being there, I got my period. That sucked. So, yeah, I flew out. I did have intentions on fucking him and all that. I thought he was cute. I was talking to him for a year. But the energy changed the minute I got in the car. So I need y'all to understand something. Just because I talked to somebody for a year and I thought I knew them through the internet or whatever the fuck, and then when I meet them in person, they're different, that means I'm allowed to change how I feel about the situation. I don't give a fuck what world y'all think y'all from. I am allowed to say I don't, I'm not feeling it no more, okay? But I was already in the situation, so I wasn't going to make it awkward because he gave aggressive dominant scary the whole time so on the second day the first day he's just intimidating me all day we didn't even get to the sex the second day um i mind you i have my period you know okay cool i'm like fuck it let me just get out the way i'm sucking his dick i'm fine with that let's talk about consent i'm consenting to sucking his dick consent consent to consent right cool so then it goes from sucking his dick to him like kind of not kind of lifting me up to like fuck me put me on my side to have sex with me now at this point this is all very quick he's strong he moved me i'm like wait wait wait, wait. i have my he goes to like put it in my pussy from behind i'm like i have, I have my period i have my period whoa, whoa, whoa. and almost the same fucking motion moves it and mind you it's wet already i was sucking it he moves it from my vagina to my ass and pushes it in and it's not little, let's be clear. And it did hurt. And I was like, ow, wait, wait, whoa, 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 wait, 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 stop, 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 wait. No, no, no. Did not stop. Did not wait. Did not even care. Like, almost didn't even acknowledge me. And he's strong, okay? Strong as fuck, big as fuck, I'm little. So now he's in my ass, and what am I supposed to do? I tell him, stop, wait. I'm like, wait, whoa, wait, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Like, chill, like, chill. Like, I don't know what else I'm supposed to say at this point. Like, I'm saying stop, no, like, okay, whatever. I disassociate, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I disassociate, I'm just looking this way and I'm like, I'm like in pain, whatever. Um, it eventually ends, I don't know how long it is. I don't think it's that long, like, whatever. He gets off me and it's like, it, it, nothing even happened, I think went to fucking sleep next day i woke up i went to the airport five hours early i put that in the fucking thing that you guys read previously I went to the airport five hours early because i just wanted to be away from it immediately severed contact from him when i got home i reached out to this girl that's one of my mentors and she told me that she had the same exact story and i had no clue um about her being held hostage in the house da -da 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 -da. all of y'all that feel as though you would have handled the situation differently congratulations I'm proud of you <laughs> for being so tough and strong and Bayana woman or whatever the fuck you are. For anyone who thinks I'm lying, I don't know what I would gain. I'm a bigger fucking celebrity than him at this point. I don't give a fuck about clout. I don't care. I'm Baby Gemini. And for anybody who's talking about my name, bitch, I've been Baby Gemini. Y'all got me fucked up if you think I'm going to change my name and my identity for somebody. It's like you guys are not satisfied with the truth. You're only satisfied until like you feel like enough of the trauma has been explained to make you be in the shoes. Like, do you need to know how bad it hurt? Do you need to know the, the how the tears welled in my eyes? Do you need to know what I was staring at when I was associating? Like, it's really fucking weird. And I'm sorry I didn't let it control my life or affect me. So, yes, I said I don't have trauma because I don't. He doesn't affect me. I don't think about that shit. Only reason I've even spoken on it is because it came up on my timeline and I just felt, why not? It's time. Let's speak on the truth since the truth is out there. And a whole bunch of other girls have come forward and I'm sure those girls are not okay. So I just really hope that everybody that watches this understands that these men may be attractive. They may have money, this and that. These people be fucking rapists, okay? And they know who they can prey on and they know what they can do and y'all just let it happen. At the end of the day, no, I didn't go to the police. I didn't even know what the fuck to say. No, I don't have the physical evidence it's on Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Like it's a lot that goes into proving that somebody did this to you, especially when you're a porn star that nobody believes. So at the end of the day, I'm putting it out there for the rest of the world to know that man raped me he is a rapist be careful when you're with him when he's alone 
and do not believe the bullshit love bombing that comes with it. And if you don't believe me, suck my dick and you could get smacked. I'm really sorry that happened to her and Anna Katana. I'm sorry both ladies had to go through that. It seems like she's letting the trolls, the people who are doubting her, get to her. I know it's tough when you're telling your truth and you have people you don't even know coming at you, like doubting you, calling you a liar, just attacking you for no reason. Yeah, that must be really, really tough. That's why she's so defensive in the video. That's why she come off so angry in the video. Because all these freaking trolls. And I don't understand why every time there's a victim, there's always, there's always people. Always trolls coming out. Doubting the person. Saying all these nasty things. This world is pretty sad. Like, you can't be a victim in this world. Always someone doubting you. Yeah, it's fine. You can doubt all you want. But why go to their page? Why even say all these nasty things? I don't believe you. You're lying. I mean, if that's proof that they're lying, okay. But her just telling her story, and yet she's being accused of lying. It's like, I don't know. People are just sad, okay. Um, I want to read... The post she made in 2018, it says, 2018, for anyone saying, why didn't she speak on it then? I, I feel the need to speak on this. Mind you, this, this is what she wrote in 2018, okay? I feel the need to speak on this because more than a handful of SEX workers in our community have contacted me about Sage the Gemini, reaching out to them in attempts to get content or hang out. Ladies, do not engage. Sage found me on Twitter and we began messaging and video chatting for about a year. We built some trust. And in that time frame, I could tell he had weird, possessive tendencies. I felt like a lot of celebrities have that weird entitlement, so I ignored it. Plus, he's cute, and I was cool with some weekend D-I-C-K. He finally realized after the year, I was not going to pay for my flight, so he did it himself. This cheap broke. This guy is really broke. Oh my gosh, let me finish. Yeah, he's broke. He finally realized after that year I was not going to pay for my flight, so he did it he did it himself. Everything was perfectly fine until I got into his vehicle. From that point on, he was someone totally different. He immediately was like, "You can't be on your phone at all." In the most aggressive manner. Fine. I respect it since he's a celebrity. Oh, wow. My mom is extremely cautious of me and knew where I was going, so she was constantly trying to check on me. He barely wanted me to respond to her, which made me super uncomfortable. So we drive an hour or so away from the airport to a very rich neighborhood and pulled up to his house. He doesn't give me a tour at all and takes from and takes from I was basic from something then I was basically locked in his room for the next three days with my phone locked in another room. I was only allowed on my phone maybe four times out the day and he would watch to make sure I was only texting my mother. I wasn't allowed to speak to anyone else. The entire time, he kept trying to get me to pay him. He would say things like, let's play this video game. If you lose, you gotta buy me a chain. Or what's your credit, or what's your credit like? And how much do you make a month? And you should get me a chain in your name, etc. Me being smart, me being the smart A-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-S-
he would get extremely aggressive and almost threatening. He would make threats in a very serious way and then just play it off like he was joking, as if he was testing me to see what he could get away with. He would manipulatively comment about who he knows and how powerful he actually is and how he could have people hurt. It was very evident he wanted to pimp me and kept telling me about what other girls did for him and how much money they would give to him. He made sure to let me know the GUNS that were across the room would be used on me if I did anything. Now, me being as strong-willed as I am, I was still nervous as F. This man is 6'5", 200-something pounds. I'm tiny and could literally do nothing to defend myself against him. I played it cool, of course, because that's just what I do. On the last day, I Ubered to the airport five hours early because I was ready to go. When I got home, I immediately severed contact and went to vent to one of my mentors, when then who then told me she had the little she had the literal same experience as me. Sage targets girls and the SEX work community in an attempt to boyfriend pimp or use his celebrity status to persuade them to provide for him. I am not posting this to be a victim. This is a warning to all the girls who look up to me. It is my job to inform and protect you out of the um, to protect you of the predators and it would be immoral for me not to. Thanks for listening. She wrote this in 2018. Okay? And Sage the Gemini is so broke. I remember a few years ago, there were reports that came out that he was broke. This guy was trying to use women, women that he's not even attracted to, okay? This guy, I believe he's, he's homosexual. I do, I do. Um, so, yeah, so this is not shocking that he wanted her to pay her own flight. And when he realized, well, it took him a year to pay for her flight. When he realized she wasn't going to pay for her flight, he, I guess he found some, some change. So did you know in 2016, there was a woman who sued him and she claimed he sexually battered and sodomized her and gave her the H-E-R-P, the herb, wow. And this happened. She sued him on May 27, 2016. And the incident happened November 24, 2015. Okay? She said he invited her to his home. You see? And granted Bay to watch a movie and took her on a tour of his residence and stopped inside his bedroom. He closed his bedroom doors, pinned her down on his bed, and inserted himself into her both, you know, both, you know, front and back. He did not use a condom. During the attack, she repeatedly pleaded for him to stop, but he ignored her request. More shocking, he was infected with genital her at the time of the attack and infected her with his genital disease. She adds, defendant's violent sexual attack inflicted severe physical pain on plaintiff and caused her severe emotional distress, which will continue for the remainder of her life as genital her is incurable. Plaintiff has had to leave college and her basketball team also as a result of her physical and emotional injuries. That is so messed up. This awkward loser, not only going around awarding women, but he's also spreading that nasty STD. And I told you guys, these celebrities, majority of them, have STDs. These people sleep around. 
They sleep around with each other. They go from one to another. They share each other. It's like... <laughs> and they don't care if they're spreading STDs. They don't care because they know it's not going to stop them. It's not going to stop some women or some men from sleeping with them. And they are not going to tell you that they have it. They don't care about that. They don't care who they spread it to. I mean, look at freaking Usher. Usher has the herb. He was sued by a woman or a man. Remember when it came out, the story broke? And he turned off his comments section? Yeah, he was sued by men and women for having that, spreading it to them. And he knew about it. And guess what? After it died down, people started, Usher, Usher, Usher. They forgot about all of that. They go to his show, and I bet you, even after knowing all of that about him, there are women who would still sleep with him or who have slept with him since all of that happened, since he was sued and was exposed. I mean, he has a new wife, a new wife. So clearly, there are women who are just, yeah, they don't care. It's a celebrity. So they, they'll take the STD from a celebrity. <laughs> That's sick. And he's not the only one. All of them. And Diddy? And let me let me say this. And it's not only H-E-R-P that they have. A lot of them have... Yeah. And don't think... Don't think that Charlie Sheen and Magic Johnson are the only two who have what they have. Home in Virginia? Yeah. They are not the only two with a home in Virginia, okay? So this scumbag, Sage the Gemini, not only are wording women, but he's also spreading, spreading H-E, yeah. He needs to be locked up. They all need to be locked up. Chris Brown, Sage the Gemini, Trey Songs, goodness, all of them, they are no good. So stay clear. Pretty much avoid them. Avoid these people. Avoid them. Do not fall for them. Alright? Um, you guys, that's all. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on that notification bell. And I will see you in the next one. Okay? Peace.